30 seconds out. This is what I last heard before loading up and heading out to conduct a simple kill quest at Midnight Sapphire. What I didn't know was that it wouldn't be so simple. With over 150 plus hours in gray zone, I was more than confident I could infill and complete this objective with ease. But as we all know, Lemang is one unforgiving place. My previous attempts held no mercy over me. I was fighting what felt against impossible odds. Some enemies seemed to have some type of supernatural abilities, while others maintained fire superiority, leading to my demise. My objective, given by handshake, was to eliminate 30 hostiles within Midnight Sapphire. My plan? Weed out the perimeter defenses and plan an assault in the villas just outside the main hotel. This would enable me to avoid any high-speed avenues of approach while maintaining an element of surprise and stealth in the event a counter-assault was conducted. Midnight Sapphire is a target-rich environment Perfect for a kill quest, but running on my own required planning and strategy. In the end, it's kill or be killed. The outcome is all up to you. This was my outcome. Ready up, we're taking off. As the Hilo approached the LZ, I quickly prepped my equipment and readied myself for the task at hand. What I didn't know is the amount of other contractors from different factions would quickly fill Midnight Sapphire. This was going to throw a pretty big wrench in my prior plan, causing me to take a different approach. As we landed, I visualized a PMC infilling shortly after me. It appeared he had been killed due to his lack of kit. This quick intel led me to believe that an assault on the hotel had already been carried out, causing my objective to go from a planned one to an improvised one. Once mobile, I headed through the tree line until I came upon some high ground that could give me a potential overwatch position. Remember, with an area such as Midnight Sapphire, it is always better to gain intel before assaulting, whether with a team or alone. Our objective still stands. I need to eliminate 30 hostiles within Midnight Sapphire. Currently, we've got ourselves a little good uh, Overwatch position, so we'll try to get a little bit of an IVA on the area. And see what's a good approach. Seems like earlier the other contractor we had seen probably regained his kit and is fighting. Sounds like he's fighting over more by the villas, but. We'll try and stay away from that area for a little bit as much as we can. Um, we are alone currently, so we have to kind of make do with what we got. We don't want to get any crazy gunfights, but if we can support him, we can. But for now, we're mostly focused on getting these 30. Let's see. Got one here. Secondary. Distance should be good on these guys. It's yeah. one down. I don't see the additional. Can't tell if he moved. Okay, he's still patrolling over there. And there's two. Okay. Alright, I don't want to engage them from here. Because he probably won't be able to get shots up on that second guy. But, uh. Might start to be able to head down.
Try to keep as much stealth as we can. Because we can get overrun pretty easily in the Midnight Sapphire. There's no reason to play it aggressive. Just take our time. Neutralize who we need to neutralize. Play it smart. And, uh... Hopefully we uh, can get back and make it a little bit easier for some other PMCs to infiltrate. We'll start picking off these snipers. He's already been taken out. Suppressor. Mm. Panzer. Not anything we use, but... Go ahead, take it. It's worth the money, right? Alright, so it looks like all the perimeter teams are... Uh, either already killed off... Or they're... Somewhere else. Looks like we're gonna have to just push the hotel, see if this will get interesting. Somehow it's in full auto. Come on, stutters, do not do this to me now. his position to try to get some kind of overwatch if I can hunker down a little bit all right back into action Let's see what he's got six use water it always comes in handy huh all right we have the high speed avenue of approach right here with this main road. Um, but unless this other contractor that was here fighting has died, we could have a pretty big gunfight on our hands and not a lot of cover. like a lot of traffic coming through today. Looks like we're a little late to the party. Should be able to pick up some of the scraps. There should be some guys roaming around here. Hey, Another contact to the left here, really close. Yep, and a shooter to the right. These guys are on the street here. Sounds like they either spawned in or they're just standing in a group. visual on the other guys here. Let's 
to my right. We're going to retrograde a little bit here, get a better position. Yeah, maybe I was wrong about uh, picking up the scraps here. And I have a sniper that has a bead on me, and it's getting tighter. This has been a huge issue with Midnight Sapphire as of lately. Now, granted, my accuracy is not the greatest right now. But I do know some of those shots are landing center mass. There we go. he's down or not. It looks like we're going into it. I think I'm hearing him come up behind me. I want some cover here quick, take some pain meds. I'm assuming we're at least at 12 to 15, so we still have quite a bit more to take out. Sounds like he is two feet in front of me. Yep, I figured he's on the stairs. I'm worried about this balcony off to my left. this contact low here because there he is I just don't want him sneaking up on me
bulletproof glass. Highly focused. This is uh, the second time I have actually been in the hotel. First time doing it solo. But we had to get these kills. I did not know there was a door there. I do want to hit him from the outside here. That guy is definitely on that bandpaw fentanyl. somebody else in the hotel now. We'll let him pick that fight up and we'll try and uh, go down towards more of the country club side. Yeah, there we go. Looks like that's our objective actually. There we go. So Rx fills here. We're closer to Hotel 1 than Hotel 2 or Hotel 3, but I'm thinking, yeah, maybe it's just best to revert back to Hotel 1. So that's what we're going to do. That is not good. Getting a little too lackadaisical on the exfil here. Popular words of the day. Nope, looks like we're gonna be waiting. Might as well wait up at the LZ. Raven dispatch, moving to Hotel One.
Alrighty, well, looks like we got our exfil inbound. Only problem is it's gonna be a good seven and a half minute wait. So we'll stage here, wait for this bird to drop. As I waited for my extraction, I took the time to re-up on some much needed calories and hydration. During this time, multiple PMCs infilled and exfilled from Midnight Sapphire. It seems the traffic in this location has increased due to the larger number of quests beginning to fill out throughout Midnight Sapphire. You guys headed back to base? Shortly before my extraction arrived, I spotted two PMCs from my own faction and approached to offer them a ride home. They accepted and held security alongside me while we waited for our bird. Back to base, boys. Load up. Once our bird arrived, we loaded up and enjoyed the view back to the FOB. Once back, I headed up to the roof one last time to enjoy the view while I notified Handshake of a mission complete and claimed my rewards. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment down below. If you wish to see more Grey Zone Warfare content like this, ensure you subscribe and leave a like on the video. This is my first Grey Zone Warfare video and of the style. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.